so in the mail today I got a new project and what this is is I'm really just sick of dealing with solar panels and batteries at my small woods and I'm trying to come up with an affordable option to get producers into high vacuum for a small remote woods that they can run off a generator that's going to be fuel efficient because that's my big thing is I want it to be fuel efficient so I got this it's going to be easier to get into Fort Knox, I think, than to get into this box. Staple. Oh, this is... So what this is, this is a Becker dry vein 110 volt pump. It's the vt 4.8 rated at 5.4 cfm so it's a small pump in theory it's good for 250 500 taps somewhere in that neighborhood um obviously it's going to do better the the better you keep your leaks but it's a small pump and it it's cute really but i want to see if i can run this off of a honda 1000 I picked this up on the marketplace for 500 bucks, I think, 450, something like that. And this thing will go about eight hours on a tank of fuel running like a guzzler. I wanna know if it'll run this little pump. So if it does, then I'll get a big gas tank to put off to the side and it'll go 24 hours on like two gallons of gas or less. That's, that's really what I'm looking for. So let's see, let's get this opened up the rest of the way. Open this up the rest of the way and see what we get here. I don't think you're supposed to eat that. With the little VT 4.8, you're going to get the pump itself. It's going to come with a little bit of plumbing and a check valve. Then it's going to have the control box to control it and then just a 110 plug. So this thing is super simple. It, it's like the easiest pump in the world. There's no oil changes. Um, if you've got to get into it to change veins, you just have to pull the faceplate off and get in. These Becker pumps, they've thought of everything when it comes to maple because they understand the moisture that we get. They understand the sugar that we get. And these little pumps are great for the small hobby producer. So it's got a starter box here and then power cord. So you can get this in 220, but these little generators are just 110. So let's see, I should probably put this thing outside to run it rather than test in my carbon monoxide detectors. On, and contact. I don't really know how much gas is in it either, so. That doesn't necessarily help. I think it's a little cold blooded. This is just a short extension cord, so I don't have much voltage loss. Let's see what happens. That would be running it. And it doesn't even sound like it's loaded down that much. I think I'm in business. We should probably see what this thing's pulling for vacuum, which means I've got to do some plumbing. To go get my plumbing stuff, I need to put shoes on because fuzzy Crocs aren't going to do it. That is one inch, so that means that I need to go get some one inch stuff together. So after raiding the sugar house, I've come up with a contraption so I can figure out what this is pulling for vacuum. A six way star that I used to use on a sap ladder. I've got a gauge that was set up for one of my remote woods, a plug or an end hook with a plug and then a piece of pipe. So I'm gonna basically 
finagle it together to make it work. Now I know you're not supposed to cut tubing off of fittings, is what a lot of people say because you get micro leaks, but for tonight, I want to see what it'll do. Nope, that's not going to work. Get this on here. If I remember right, I had to heat it up. Gauge. Right. That's quite a contraption here. I'm going to re replace the, the tape because it's wore out. The tape's in the sugar house. Okay. Now, this goes on here. All right, let's see what this thing will do. It doesn't do anything if you don't plug those. And rather than wasting a bunch of fittings, we got some dead end tees here for making drops, and I'm just gonna drive in. Looks like 27 and a quarter to me. It's the other way to tell that there's no leak is that that flapper is not flapping. So by having those clear check valves on there, you can tell if you've got any leaks. So this thing's sitting at 27 inches, running off the Honda 1000 generator, which has crazy fuel economy and it doesn't even sound like it's working hard. Now here comes the, the caveat though. This is at a remote woods and it's gonna have a mechanical releaser. I wanna be able to just run this all the time. I don't really wanna to have to throw a valve in line to shut off the vacuum if I don't have to, but I can. Here's what I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try putting a little ceramic space heater on the generator as well and see what that does. The space heater's set to low right now. And I'm going to see what it'll do when I plug it in. So the vacuum pump's still running. It's working. But it's making heat at the same time. Well, I don't know if it liked it or not. I don't it may be out of fuel. I think it's out of fuel. I hope. Okay, so it doesn't like it if it's sitting with vacuum on the pump because it's too much load to start. So right now it's off, sitting at 26 and a half inches. It did it that time. Maybe that's not it. The other thing I'm not convinced is how good the fuel was in it. Um, the guy said he used it for a hunting trip but I don't think it was this year. I think it was last year. So, I don't know. But, let's try with the, uh, the heater now. See, I don't understand why it's stalling the generator because it doesn't even kick it into overload. Let's see if it'll run with just 
the heater. I've had to adjust the choke a fair amount on this thing. I'm wondering if the carburetor needs to be adjusted or cleaned. That, that could be too. So that's blowing heat right now. But even just with that, the generator is kind of I think it might be a carburetor issue. We're back on. It just kicked the overload. So I don't think the heater's gonna work. Not on the one, the little 1000. But it gets the mileage, as far as fuel mileage out of it, or gallons an hour that makes it really worth it. It's so off, it's sitting with vacuum on it, and then it pulls through that without any trouble. 27 inches of vacuum on this little pump that's got 5 CFM. Now, it does drop quite a bit. I mean, if you've got a leak, you're at six inches if you've lost a tap. So I'm definitely gonna have to be on it, making sure that there's no leaks on this system. This is going to be on the woods at the hill, guaranteed. Now, if I only knew someone that had a releaser, more to come on this. These Becker pumps for the hobby producer that are the dry veins, they just work constantly. They're quiet. I mean, you can have a conversation next to it. They're really like the cat's meha, if you ask me.